everyone. Inferiority Complex here. We are playing through the Federation missions on our engineering character on the Federation side, D84, a liberated Borg. Uh, we have encountered some undine activity when, in, um, or when we were on the planet of Vulcan and we are trying to find out what's going on here. The undine sent a signal to this research station or listening post of the Klingons in the Pulse of Nebula and we've been down there and tracked the signal and now we're going to play through the mission Stop the Signal. We have decrypted some of the information you found at the Klingon listening post. Starfleet Intelligence believes there's at least one more of those posts out there. We have the location of a signal repeater which boosts the subspace transmissions from these listening posts. Starfleet wants you to go to the Bomari system. Find the signal repeater and use it to track down the coordinates of the other listening post. When you have the location, transport a team down to the surface and take it out. We can provide you with spatial charges to get the job done. Can we count on you to keep Starfleet communications safe? Yep, sure can. So I'm going to get some engineering dampening armour, energy dampening armour as a reward from this episode along with the usual skill points, expertise and dilithium ore. Okay, so let's go to, was it the Bomari system? Yep, the Bomari system. How far away is it? Oof, it's a way down here. Could be a wee while before I get there. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of video editing. A little bit of editing magic to get me there faster. Well, hello and welcome back. That took a lot longer to fly down here than I thought it would. And as a result, I've been down to the fridge. And I've been uh, fortunate to find myself a can of juice. So, if you hear me slurping away at something, that will explain what it is. Let's begin the mission. Oh my. Captain, we are approaching the signal repeater. If we can get close enough, we can eavesdrop on the transmissions and determine the point of origin. Starfleet has reported hostile ships in the area, so we should be cautious. Okay. So presumably that flashing light dead ahead is the signal repeater. <laughs> yep, looks like one. Big satellite in the midst of a ton of um, meteors, or no meteors, asteroids, there we go. Bound to be a signal repeater. Okay, so let's listen in. Klingons are using a low frequency subspace carrier wave to send their stolen transmissions. We'll need to listen through the spectrum to figure out what the Klingons have heard and where they're sending it. Cases of saurian brandy, two exterior mounted decorative fumes, one gross of self sealing stem bolts. No, nope, that's not of interest to us. Try, let's see, just two more weeks and then the semi finals are right upon us and. No, not that one. What? Along the border of the sector, redeploying tachyon sensors to pick up cloaked Klingon vessels. This is the one, let's trace it. We need to trace the destination of that signal. Okay. Klingons are bouncing the signal off another repeater. Somehow I expected that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, you can actually show the signal trace. 
handy to be able to find what you're looking for. Whoa! Hang on, it's decloaking. That took me by surprise. Let's see if drop on the repeater. Piggyback the carrier wave on the signal from the repeater and track the signal to the source, sir. There is a listening base still located between the binary moons of Bomari 2. Course to the moons of Bomari 2 is laid in, sir. We can warp on your command. Let's go! Sir, I'm detecting a Klingon dis transporter disruption field around the listening post. The field is being maintained by three transport disruptors. We'll need to destroy them before we can transport down to the listening post. Okay. Why is there four? Oh. Three thingies. Three transporter disruptors, but on ships guarding them by the I'm guessing. Okay, I'm gonna take out this one first since it looks to be closest. It's not shielded. Sensors show the inhibitor field is weakening, sir. It's very nice to know. Let's go and try this one. Ship's warping in to protect the facility. Where are they warping into? Oh, there. Okay. Let's avoid the ships for now. We'll deal with them in a minute. Give them a wide berth for the moment. Let's see, one of these is the third repeater, the uh, disruptor, but uh, which one? speed a wee bit. The board of the place saw me trying to avoid it. Sadly surprising. Oh my goodness, these other ships are friendly as well. I've got a fight in my hands. Right, I didn't expect to have to fight them until I'd actually turned around. 
got to the listening post. Mind, here we go. Okay, so I've used some of the consoles there that you buy from the pay ships. But all that really did was just speed up the battle. Transport to the listening post. Sir, we have received authorization from Starfleet to destroy this facility. It is considered vital to our war effort to protect our transmissions from enemy reception. I recommend we plant spatial charges throughout the area. If we hit several parts of the structure at once, it should suffer a catastrophic failure. I like that thinking. But you're not Elisa Flores, you're Tavrell. Okay. Spatial charges. Let's see what's through here. Enemy ah, Klingons. Imagine that. Target. Beaming down there. Klingon facility and finding Klingons. What are the chances of that happening, eh? Okay, there's a scannable thing in the corner. Let's get that. There it goes. Tritanium. Nice. Plant a special charge here. And another special charge over here. Three out of four done. Where's the fourth one going? Now, uh, surely there's Iconian stuff to find in this mission as well. Okay, let's go this way. See what happens. Oh, there we go. Since this listening post is designed to collect information about hostile groups, we may be able to slip in some warnings about the Iconians. Yes, we might. We need to determine what kind of sensitive information this listening post has picked up. We'll need to blast our way into the computer core and upload their records, just like we did at the listening post in the Lackey system. Fortunately, our spatial charges should be able to blow through the security doors. Okay. Oh, more Klingons! Okay, so we've got a small hypo there, this one's a medium, medium sealed charge, and a triple. The door's locked down, but we can't blast it open with a spatial charge. Okay, let's, let's put a spatial charge there, and back up, oh, I'm not getting a chance to back away. I'm doing a runner anyway. There we go. Klingon appearing on the outside of the door straight away. Shoot all the Klingons! Yay! Swordmaster. Here, I don't have a sword, but I've got a phaser. Ooh! Anything useful? Small hypo. Useful if you're nearing death. Another Swordmaster. Thoron particles, let's have some Thoron particles. Okay. Glowing crate though. Let's have a 
goodies inside by the look of it. A hypo and a shield charge, yes, we'll have those. Now, did I see the purple delta triangle here? Yes, I did. There it is, let's insert a warning about the Iconians. You've done what you could. The Klingons were the first to discover Undine infiltrators in the Alpha Quadrant. At that time, we were still allies. But when they came to the Federation for assistance to find the infiltrators, we refused. It's now clear that there were Undine in the Federation government as well. And they were working to destabilize our alliance. They succeeded, and now we're all paying the price. Okay, so the war between the Klingons and the Federation is pretty much the Federation's fault. Share the computer core data. More Klingons. Enemy targets on sensors. Personal shield losing power. Shoot them. Shoot the Klingons. Whoa, one of them's an Undine. Whoa! Undine Infiltrator, they must be manipulating the whole situation to put the Klingons and the Federation against each other and to get valuable intelligence into Klingon hands for the war. This makes it more critical than ever that we get this information back to Starfleet. We need to uplink the computer core to our ship's computer. Okie dokie. Here we go, Lieutenant. Sensors just picked up an Undine ship on the far side of the moon. They've beamed someone aboard and are heading into the Comet Debris. Please return to the ship immediately. I don't have that crew member on my thing. Never mind. Let's beam up. Klingons are fighting the Undine ship. With their help, we can defeat it. Okay. Let's go. Take on the Klingons. I mean the Undine. going to be a long fight. Whoa! What happened there? You have aided us in battle, Lieutenant, and I respect your bravery. In honour of your actions against the Undine, we will not destroy you. Today. Next time you will not be so fortunate. Perhaps someday we'll fight on the same side again, Captain. So we've set a course out of the system. Transmit data we recovered to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the area. Ready to leave on your command, sir. Let's depart the system.
Let's hail Starfleet. Good work. You're making quite a name for yourself in Starfleet. I would hope so. According to my um, temporal encounter I had in my very first mission, I'm an admiral within about a year. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So we got some new armor there. Quite useful. We'll equip that in a minute. Let's go for research or rescue. See you in the next video. Bye for now.